What's going on guys? It's your boy ATF Cobra and I got another review for you guys. This time it's for the QBU-88 gas operated semi-automatic rifle. It uses a uh, short stroke gas piston located above the barrel and a three lug rotation bolt. Uh, the action is mounted in the compact steel receiver and the enclosed into the polymer bull pulp type housing. And uh, to increase accuracy, the action made it uh, up to 640 millimeter, 25.1 inch long hammered forged match gray barrel. Basically, it uses a uh, kind of long barrel to give it a little bit more accuracy, which in battlefield, it does have a lot of accuracy. But um, because of the accuracy, I believe they tried to lower down the damage for the weapon. So you might have to, um, you know, be really on target or aim for headshots or above you know, above the shoulders to get those two to three shot kills. And um, you could kind of get away with actually, um, you know, being caught off guard because you can kind of spray. The hip fire is actually um, not bad because I did end up um, hip firing a couple guys in uh, this game. But yeah. Basically, the sniper rifle it's good for um, pop and move. Like you, you want to you know rush to one place, defend it, and then move to another location. That's what um, I kind of did in this video, and that's why I was able to do uh, you know pretty well. And here, um, the thing I hate about the seven times scope is that that arrow is not really accurate, especially in um, you know for a lot of these sniper rifles, it's not accurate at all. It's I mean, your shots are probably going to be off because you're going to think you're um, aiming in the right spot, but you're really not. So what I suggest using on a lot of the uh, sniper rifles that do have this type of scope is to actually use the uh, laser sight because you'll kind of see where it's at and um, it'll be a lot more accurate and um, it will help your hip fire accuracy as well. I believe that's what the laser um, sight is for, but it's even better. See, I was able to actually pin where the uh, red dot is and... It moves up and down as you guys can see like right here and uh, that's what made um, a lot of G these shots successful because I was using it before I had the red dot unlocked and I was missing a lot of shots and um, I was not hitting my targets at all so I just um, kind of took off the uh, scopes and went for, with the iron sights and tried to unlock the uh, the uh, higher scopes or different scopes to try to see if something else was better but they're not the four times scope is kinda not good unless you're going um, you know Rambo and you're on a run around with a sniper rifle and um, I believe the only best way to use this sniper rifle is uh, the seven times scope until you can unlock something different but if you're using a higher uh, scope you're probably not gonna do it too well because it's not gonna be in that effective range. I mean, it'll help you in the mid to mid range, but not really the long range. Look at this, two to three, four shot kills. Um, that's pretty bad for a semi-automatic sniper rifle because you can get uh, killed if you're trying to kill somebody. Like here, there's a lot of shots on target, but not too many of them hitting. And I think it's because I didn't steady my aim, but that's what you guys need to do when you're using the QBU-88. I know in my last video I said not to steady your aim unless you're long range, but for this gun, you want to steady your aim because it's accurate, but only if you're accurate and putting on the right amount of shots, like right here, try to judge where he's going, and um, I only got one out of five shots, so that really landed successfully, and then I was able to kill that guy. But yeah, like I said, it's a pop and move uh, type sniper rifle. Um, don't expect to be no scoping anybody, because... <laughs> um, it doesn't have that accuracy to really no scope so what you want to do is arm yourself with either the M1911 the M9 or the Glock 18 uh, because you know if you are caught off guard you can switch those pistols really quickly and uh, finish off your enemy and especially if you um, if you do like to run around a little bit with the pistols I think um, the M9 does a lot better because it has a really high fire rate it's really accurate and it's really powerful and here, I think I quick scope this guy right here. I don't know how, but um, yeah, the laser sight. What it does actually, um, in battlefield is it actually gives you a boost in your uh, hip fire. So no scoping would kind of be a little bit accurate, but not for the long range. But um, yeah. And the overall, I would give this gun probably a eight out of ten, because um, to other to the other semi-automatic sniper rifles, it's really not 
too good. I mean, the SKS I really like. It's really powerful. It's really accurate, and um, you know your bullets go exactly where they need to. And sometimes for the KBU 88, it feels like your bullets don't. And this is a back to Karkand uh, weapon. So if you don't have the maps, you're not gonna get this gun. And um, the way to get this gun is check your assignments. I'm I'm not gonna put it in the description of how to get it or anything because too many people leave uh, too many comments. I'm not being a bad person. It's just like people leave comments before even reading the description so I'm not even gonna say how to unlock it this is not an unlock video it's a review and um, basically the gun is good if you could put up with the uh, BS and uh, before you unlock everything for it um, it's gonna be a real good gun for you but um, other than that I suggest <laughs> avoiding it as much as possible. Use something else. Like I said, the SKS does a real good uh, job. The yeah, MK11, real good job as well. And the iron sights for this gun, like I said, it's uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's it's actually horrible. It's one of the worst iron sights I've seen thus far, um, other than the FAMAS. But yeah, um, when you are using this gun, like I said, stick and move, and uh, you know try to hold on position like this like here I don't really consider this camping because I was kinda moving around looking around and uh, checking if I wasn't gonna be flanked and stuff like that and that's what you wanna do as a sniper because once you get one kill uh, you know you're going to alert everybody else on the enemy team so move around and try to get different positions in here it was our last stand so I had to definitely watch the bomb for a little bit so um you know this is not really camping like i said i just had to watch the bomb i didn't want to lose the game but we ended up losing anyways and um this was a really good match for me 20 and 3 using the qbu 88 and uh if you guys are new to sniping uh check out my uh sniping test video because if you pick this gun up and you just just started sniping it's definitely not going to work out for you um it's one of the uh, harder guns to use uh for semi-automatic sniper rifles because look right here one shot one shot should have been killed, but he wasn't. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.